South Coast Detecting is here, says, Jay, fancy coming metal detecting. Let's dig. Aaron. Um... Hello all, Aaron here, back out in the parks again. And uh, yeah, I'm out with the Macro Cruiser. I'm out on a park that I've done before. I'm gonna be using it in four tone. Hopefully there's gonna be a couple of videos this week. I'm hoping to sneak out for a couple of hours over the next few days. Now don't forget, if you want to subscribe, you can just hit the little subscribe button down there at the bottom and the bell icon. Uh, today and this week, it's a special offer, it's $9.99 free. Apparently we're doing a special offer this week. It is free to subscribe. So why not hit that subscribe button while it's free? Um, yeah, I shall see you at the first hole. Let's dig. First hole, first target. That looks like a coin. I didn't film the numbers or anything because uh, obviously it's my first time using four turn. And I'm just trying to get the uh, gain right. Apparently, it's quite a hot program. It's all over the place. It's, it's very, uh, it's very keen, shall we say? So, in a park where there's lots of trash, four tone is going to be very problematic unless you take your gain right down. Um, but anyway, I got this one. Uh, there's lots of uh, noise walking from the bike to here, a bit of chatter and everything else. But then it honed in on this target. The numbers were all over the place, though. The numbers were up, uh, as, uh, up in the 60s and then back down to the 40s. So I thought, well, let's dig it anyway. It's the first hole of the day. And I'm glad I did. Look at it just down there. Let's take a little look-see at what our first coin of the day is. Who is that on there? Is that George V? Yes, it is. You can just see him there, George V. Give him a little rub. See if we can get a date on that. Is that 1931. There we go. First coin of the day. George V, 1931. I will put my if I haven't already put my four four tone um, settings on screen so you can see them if I haven't already. There you go. Right, let's carry on. Right. Okay. So there's something similar, quite quite similar next to it. That's where I just had the George from, just there. Just next to it now. Something else. Again, numbers are jumping. Let's give it a dig. Right, okay. This hole. There is something here, just in the side. This is where the pinpointer was pointing it to, anyway. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's under the coin. Oh, it's a ship off, Penny. I had no idea what that was then, because I couldn't, I couldn't make it out upside down. I thought, what the hell's that? Here you go. So, just there, George Fifth half penny. Hold next to it. Ship half penny. 1938, that'll be George VI, yes, indeed, there he is, yeah, we can just about make out the impression in the soil, lovely stuff, right, two holes, two coins, let's carry on, right, so this is where I got George, the fifth from, George VI was there, and just behind them both. There's something else, but the numbers, again, the numbers are all over the place. But it sounds nice. Right. Let's give it a dig then. Just there. Let's dig. 
there is something else in this hole right at the bottom I'm talking good let's have a look yeah got a tape measure with me what of it <laughs> uh, a good we're talking down there seven inches down and just seen a glint of silver it might not be silver I could be absolutely mistaken and make myself look like a right tit but I'm sure I just saw a glint of silver in here. I'm sure of it. Oh my God, there it is. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it's George V. There's no mistake in that face. Whoa. Oh, you beauty. Oh, you absolute beauty. And I was umming and ahhing today whether or not to come out because I thought, you know, I'm not going to have much time. I'm really going to have to pull my socks up and... Oh, my God, but I'll tell you what. I'm so pleased that I have. 1926, it's only 50%, but say, hey, 50% is 50%. A George the Sixth half crown. You beauty. That is the first one of those I've ever found. That is the first half crown I've ever found. I knew we were here to witness it. How good is that? Whoa. Very worn, but oh my God. I know I'm banging on as if it's like gold or a Roman silver or something, but yeah. Yeah, to me, that that is a corker of a find. I don't find a lot of them, as you know. <laughs> That's my first, but my God, what a welcome back to the park that is. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> I better stop, people are looking at me. <laughs> Let's carry on. Oh. All right, something here. But there is a slight iron grunt with it as well, just around it. Right. Let's get it pinpointed and dug up. Let's see what it is. Right, there's something in the bottom of the hole just there, look. Probably a bottle top, maybe. Ooh, ooh no. It's a badge. Is that the pin? No, it's not the pin. Looks like the pin has gone. Whoa. All right. Let's give this a little brush up, see what it says. So what have we got? Royal Engineers. Wow, that is lovely. That's a little beauty. Just here is where the uh, badge came from, the military badge. And just next to it, just here, let's have a listen. Right, let's give it a dig. Looking at the uh, depth of it, it's not overly deep, but it's, it's at least four inches down. Right, let's give it a dig. Um, right. Uh, yeah, you can see that, right? Um, I've not had a proper look at it yet. It's just popped out and I genuinely do not know if that's real or not I'm hoping it's real but if it isn't that's a mean trick to play on someone burying something like that oh oh I've got to look around the inside of it now but I'm not sure if this is real 
No, we're looking at that. It, oh, whoa. There is a stamp in there. I just... I don't know. No, it's not. It must be gold-plated. It has to be gold-plated. Because, look, that's coming off. <laughs> Got it. Oh, there's me. I just thought to myself, wow, I found a gold ring. No, you haven't. You found a gold-plated ring. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, there's a lot of marks in there, look. But I think that's all it is. I think it is literally just gold-plated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Booger! I thought, I thought I was having the dig of a lifetime there. Half crown, gold ring. Hey, but we'll take it, we'll take it. A ring's a ring. Gold plated or not. Let's carry on. Right, something in. High numbers. Low numbers. Could easily be trash, but let's give it a Right, it's there at the bottom of the hole. And I think I know what it is. And uh, it wouldn't be the same without one. Yep. It's a penny. Say it with me, everybody. Booger. Right, just here. Showing a bit of depth to it, just here, look. Again, numbers are all over the place. Not sure if there's a bit of an iron grunt with that. But let's pinpoint it and give it a dig. Oh, right. At the bottom of this hole there is another silver signal. Or what looks like silver, a silver target. And again, if it isn't, I'm gonna look like a right tit. Beauty. Sixpence. Nineteen twenty one. Look at that. Another George the Fifth again. Quite worn. I can't count the amount of silver I've had out of this park. I'd have to look back at all the videos, even when I was using the Ace 250. It just keeps coming up. Look at that. That's two for today. And I'm going to have to maybe do one more hole and then wrap it up and I'm going to have to make my way home. But look at that. What a beauty. Let's carry on. Right, this is where the silver sixpence came out. Just behind it, there is something here. But there's also rubbish with it. Yep, just rusty tet. Somewhere in there anyway. Always check your holes. There we go, as you can see there, look. I had a little pinpoint around. I knew there was something else in there. I was getting the iron grunt, but the numbers that it was giving me was for an older coin. So I've had a route around. As you can see, there's the mark in the soil. And it's a ship half Benny. And it's George Six.
There you go. What's that? 1945. And there he is. I will check the hole to see if there's anything else in there. But if not, that's it. I'm going to call it a day. Right, and as I was walking off, I got a signal just next to where I got that half penny. And it was, until it fell apart in the hole, it looked like a live bullet. Although, look, looking at that, it looked like it had been fired. But there you go. That was sitting in there. I think that's it for the day now. I think that's about it. Well, that's it from me. That's not been a bad day, has it? I mean, look at that. I have literally been out just over an hour. I'm hopefully going to get back out here tomorrow and then the day after again if I can. So you should have three videos from me this week. But hey, that's not a bad start to the week, is it? Look at that. Beauty. That ring, though. <laughs> Bugger. Cold plated. Right, let's carry on. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, wear gloves if you're going out because you never know what's in them holes. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you again.